Hello everyone, in today's video I've got a bit of a unique project to share with all of you. A patron recently requested I design some bleachers similar to what you might find at a small racetrack. I accepted the challenge and began by gathering some reference material and working on the design. Now if you have the STL files and would simply like to skip to the portion of the video where I show the assembly process of the bleachers, you'll find a timestamp below in the description where you can jump to that segment. But to start, I'll be showcasing the CAD modeling and talking throughout the design process. First, I'll make it clear that I don't really know that much about bleachers or stadium seating in general outside of their basic appearance and they're really not that comfortable to sit on for extended periods. Just from the few Google image searches I did, I found it a little difficult to find really good reference material, but eventually I found an image with dimensions that I found useful. I used those blueprints to start my design and then worked with the other images I had to get the general appearance as close to the real thing as possible. Aside from just making some scaled down bleachers that look similar to the real thing, there were some other design requirements as well. First being, I wanted every part to be 3D printable on a typical FDM printer with no other materials or hardware being necessary aside from glue. Also, I wanted all the parts to be printable on a 200 by 200 millimeter print bed when printing a 124 scale model. Many hobby FDM printers have a build platform at least that large, meaning all the parts can be printed on a large variety of printers. Additionally, I wanted to make the parts as easy to print as possible, so I limited the amount of small details, overhangs, and other difficult features to print. One thing that's nice about these bleachers are that it's comprised of a bunch of duplicate parts. All the benches, support pieces, and floor pieces are all the same or just mirrored, so although it's a large model with a lot of parts, it didn't take that long to model. As you can see, I started by sketching the side profile using the blueprint I found as a guide. Once the design for the supports was complete, I extruded the sketch and made a total of four of these support pieces, which will hold up the bleachers. I then extruded the floor pieces and benches. I just made this one support section you see here and then simply duplicated it for all the benches. Already the bleachers were taking shape. Here I'm making some handrails to go in the center. I wanted to make some chain link fences for the rear and sides, however it would be quite difficult to print, so I just added a bunch of vertical bars which ended up turning out pretty nice. An alternative to printing these fence pieces would be to use contour wire mesh which will look more like a chain link fence. Thank you. 
With the upper part of the bleachers looking good, I wanted to add some additional support structure to the bottom, which will be printed separately and then glued into place. To make these support pieces easier to install, I made some holes and tabs for them to fit into. After that, I made some raised sections that will help with positioning the floor pieces. I was satisfied with the design at this stage and finished by splitting some of the parts in half so they'll either be easier to print or will fit the print bed, and I added some labels to certain parts so I'll know what order to place them in. The finished bleachers look great and I was excited to get all the parts printed and assembled. With the design complete, I printed each part. If you'll be building one of these along with me, you'll find info on the quantity of each part you'll need to print in the links below. Here's a look at all the parts that are needed. I did some post-print finishing work by sanding and removing any large imperfections. After that, I glued each half of the fences and handrails together. Printing these pieces in halves makes them easier to print since there's a flat surface to adhere to the bed. It might be a little hard to make out here, but each of the four main support pieces has one through four dots on the bottom, indicating the order that they need to be placed in. Again, refer to the links below for illustrations. When looking at the front of the bleachers, the support with one dot will be on the far left, and the support with four dots will be on the far right. I drilled out the holes on the main support pieces, and then began gluing the smaller supports that go in between each of those pieces. Once again, have a look at the illustrations linked below for reference as to how each support piece should be oriented and where it goes. Here's a look at the progress so far. Next, I arranged the floor pieces in numerical order, with one being on the bottom and seven on top. I then glued all the floor pieces together, making sure each side is a match. After that, I glued the side fence mount pieces into place.
Before going any further, I wanted to paint all the parts. I just chose a gray color that I had on the shelf and gave everything a few light coats. I painted everything the same gray color except for the yellow handrails. Once the paint had dried, I was ready to finish the assembly. I glued each floor to the supports, making sure the order is correct. Next I glued all the benches. The two longer benches go on top. Here's what it looks like so far. I completed the bleachers by gluing the fences and handrails. With that done, the bleachers are now complete, and they turned out looking awesome. These would definitely make a great addition to any track or diorama. Currently, the files are sized to be about 1 24th or 1 25th scale, however you can always scale the STL files up or down to be whatever size that you need. This was a very fun project that I hope you all enjoyed as well. The STL files can be found using the links below if you'd like to build your own bleachers. You'll not only find these STL files along with many others available on Patreon, but your patronage also helps make content like this possible. You can also become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Thank you all very much for your support. That's going to be all for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.